All right, now I'm with the head man himself, Warrior Head Coach Jeff Snuffer. Now, Coach Snuffer's already busting on me, too. Coach Hambright busting on me. Coach Snuffer told me I didn't interview him yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm saving the best for last, Coach okay, Snuffer. Boy. I'm saving the best for last. And, and this is an honest story. Coach Snuffer is, is a very humble man, and he suggested that I talk to the, his assistant coach because they deserve some time in the spotlight, too. So I just wanted to point that out. I appreciate you doing that. It's been awesome for those guys. It's been fun to listen to them, and I think they've done a great job. So, yeah, I appreciate you doing that. They're, they're trying to show me up, I think. Hambright said he was Going to interview me tonight. So, show you. Anyway. All right. 48 to 21 on senior night. I heard you just talking to, to, some, to some of our fans about McMichael was uh, not the normal McMichael team, a little improved, more, not a lot, significantly improved in year, over years past. Yes, yeah. I mean, again, the talent level of those guys, if you if you didn't know anything about us, Warrior football or McMichael football, and watch them in warm ups, you'd say, man, that McMichael team looks pretty good. Yeah. I'd be worried about the Warriors if you didn't know, but that's why it's the mentality that I talked about that's everything. And he's turning that program, and they've got some pieces, but our mentality carried us through key situations. Even when they scored, you know, through that flea flick or whatever, our guys responded, and that's the mentality we've established. So, yeah. there, there are points, like you said, two flea flicker and then a couple of, of, of long busted, not busted plays, but they, they were not, they didn't grind it on us. They didn't push it on us. We, we pushed it on them. Now, um, Looking ahead to the playoffs, I know uh, the regular season behind us. This year, things are different. We have that week off. Is this something you're looking forward to having a week off, or would you rather just keep on playing? Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely, because our guys need to rest a little bit. we got some more teaching we need to do. Um, guys got to get their legs back under them, so I'm really looking forward to it. Guys in school is kind of wearing on these guys. Just got our grade cards today, so hope everything's <laughs> a good thing. I've been checking on that. But, no, I think it's actually it's a good thing for us. We're not going to take it as a negative. We're going to take it as a positive thing. We're going to prepare. We're going to teach. We're going to stay in shape, and then we'll get ready in two weeks from tonight. Yeah, now there's going to be a lot of speculation going on. Again, I've already heard we're supposedly going 3 AA this year. Are you guys hearing anything, or you just want to wait and see where the chips fall? I think our numbers have gone up. We had some kids that were, that were forced in our district as that have moved here, so our numbers did jump. I think we're going to be big, which is fine with me. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's just get in, let's see who we got to play, and let's just go. That's the mentality you got to have. Yeah, and it's, this in your class, I think, is different. I think they're special, and I think they can help lead us to well deep into the playoffs. So congratulations before the game. Coach Snuffer was honored with the, with the, at the ceremony at the coin toss, <clears throat> recognized for his achievements uh, here, including four conference championships in the past uh, eight years roughly or something like that so that's something like that. I've been here a while the years are just running together now but know. that's an incredible accomplishment and there's a lot more to come so congratulations yes, thank you thank your you for weekend. all y'all do y'all do a great job by the way thank, thank you. you guys heard that now he's talking good Doing about me now great job uh.